Hey guys, how are we doing? Welcome to Fab Rugby, and today I'm going to give you a bit of an insight in behind the scenes. So today I'm going to be showing you how I make the concept shirts. All the shirts that have been sent in over by our Instagram followers, how I've been making them. So we're going to get into the computer today, I'm going to give you a bit of an insight and a bit of a basic tutorial, not necessarily on how to design it, but just how I do things. Um, so let's get into the computer and get started straight away. So the first thing I use is I will use uh, Photoshop. Now we have the Adobe package, so we use we tend to use th three of the main programs. We use this Premiere Pro and After Effects for all the stuff that we do at Fab. But for this particularly, I'm using um, Photoshop. So in Photoshop, this is how I can kind of start. Now this is a template that I've adapted towards Fab. Now I've got the logo here, also got the texture background that's common with all our Fab stuff that we do. Uh, the font as well as uh, like the font that we use for all, our, all of our stuff. The shirt itself is kind of, as you can see on the right hand side, it's got all these different folders and you can we can change whether it be a different colour that someone wants, if they want long sleeve, uh, it's got the logo layers. If I take some of these off, so let's take this off, you can kind of get a feel for what each thing's doing. So that's kind of the start point. We've got a background and um, we've got the shirt then. This is how the shirt's made up. With all the, It's kind of already got all the... Um, shadows and everything on top of it so the embossed layer so it's sit the logo sit off the chest a little bit and sit off the shirt a little bit um short sleeve and then i tend to go for the round collar uh big just because that's more traditionally what a rugby shirt is kind of looking looking like nowadays i'm not talking about the old traditionals we do have like a the old school collars uh in here but it tends to be most shirts nowadays are round collars but let's get into a bit of the design elements of it so if we kind of look at a shirt that's been sent in so this is a shirt i've got to do today so you can't see this one at the minute. i'm just going to drag this across and then you can see it on the screen so if i just screenshot that i'm just going to drag this across now you can see this is a shirt we've got to design today now this was sent in by what was the name uh, ashley white underscore dot 11. okay so let's pop the name in here that's the starting point ashley white underscore dot 11. okay and at the top here we've just got to name it so I'm going to change this because I've been changing it to full full capitals. So Northampton Saints Sevens concept. Okay, so you can see we're straight away we've got the kind of the look of and feel of what this what this concept shirt shirt look like. So let's get actually into the design at the moment. First thing I would always start doing. I'm just going to close it now. First thing I would start doing is I would start here with my layers. Okay, so go into my layers. I need to put my logos in. Now, these white boxes give me a kind of an idea on where the logos need to be. So let's load up. Let me just grab the Northampton Saints logo. So it is in this folder. Um, so this is a vector file that I'm just going to drag in. This means that you can kind of in, like increase and decrease the size of it without it kind of pixelating at all. So I'm going to take this here. So this new Saints logo hasn't actually been having the writing down the bottom, so I'm going to take that off. I'm just going to decrease that in size slightly so it's a bit more realistic. Now, compared to the white box, I always do sit it just slightly off. I just feel like it sits a bit better on the chest on a rugby shirt. Just just to there. Okay, so let's now take that box away. Now I need to throw the Macron logo in. <clears throat> so let me just load the Macron logo. Um, Macron. So this should come up. These are just these are just you need to get make sure it's a PNG really ideally um, because I'll explain that in a second a bit more. Um, let's just get rid of that. Get rid of that. Now this one is a tool station logo and this is what I'm going to talk about. So where the logo is, you need to have a look at the back of it uh, if it's transparent or not. So you can see if I zoom in a little bit, you can see on the edges of it, it is so you can still see this background that's on Photoshop, um, but you can see there there's a white background. So Let's just drag this into the center where it ideally would be on a shirt. And I kind of, with the concepts, most sponsors would probably want that to stay the same as the Saints keep. But with the concepts, we're going a bit crazy. So we can get get a, get the background out of there. So I'm just going to rasterize it. Uh, rasterize that. And then that way then, we've got no, you can see now it's transparent. It's got nothing behind it. I'm just going to change this into a font or into a color that would be quite similar to the Saints. Now what I have done is I've took the colors from the Saints crest here. So I'll just take the take the colour from there and then I'll take the gold as well from here. So you can see we've then got we've got the colours loaded up. Um, the Macron logo, I'll maybe just change that so it's black because it looks a little bit blue at the moment. Uh, the actual main colour of that. Um, I'm gonna just whack a colour overlay on that. So we can just start. So there we go, we've got we've got three 
we've got the basic logos now this will all make sense i'm using the guidelines to kind of guide me where i need as well as the white boxes that were there if i save this now let's this one loads up into the project so you can see now the sh the logos are actually here they're actually on the shirt now um, as you can see but obviously there's guidelines and stuff from the other bits but let's have a look at the main design let's do the collar first the collar is quite a simple and it's just a black collar um, so we're just going to go for black collar and then if we look into it a bit more detail there is a sh the back of the shirt now I'm going to probably do the back of the shirt gold because the main part of the shirt looks to be gold and then there's also like a white band and then there's stitching as well you can see the stitching here there's also this white band now with that band I'm going to change that to maybe green and I'm going to change the stitching to gold so let's have a look let's zoom in a little bit and you can see what I've just changed there that's what we're looking at you can see the, the design element there so that's the collar done so let's close that bit down and we move on so the collar goes from there now I'm going to focus a bit more now on the actual main shirt um, so we're going to use our guidelines a little bit here so take the logo down go to the shirt base so let's load up our main design element here so this is how i style now in the actual design if i go back to here you can see it's like an eiffel tower that's probably the only way i can describe it but to start off i'm just going to start off with a, a rectangle shape in the color of the green so i'm going to go to maybe three bars so you can see three boxes across then i'll and then that and then you'll i'll save that just so you kind of get a feel for what that actually looks like so this is how that shirt, when I save that, it's because it's a smart layer, then that will come into the file and you'll see that like that. So you can see how that looks. But obviously this one has kind of, it, it comes out, you can see on the side here and on the side here. So what we need to do is manipulate that some way. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna rasterize that shape and then I'm gonna go into here and warp it. So oh, I'm just gonna quickly just bring that in a little bit. Um, yeah, I'm just gonna, transform this and then warp it okay so let's bring this out you can see that's now changed the shape of it i'm gonna go the same this way as well okay so let's just stop there and save so you can see how that's suddenly adapting to the shirt and how that's looking to the design element let's have a look when that saves okay so Compared to the design that he, that's that been sent in by Ashley, it's quite wide at the top still, um, and also probably too wide in the middle. So what we need to do is manipulate it more now into the middle, and also the background is gold. Okay, so I'm gonna get rid of the grid because we don't need the grid so much anymore. I'm gonna change this to gold. So that gives us our colors. Now let's go back to our shape, and let's manipulate again. Let's go warp again, and let's bring this time, let's bring this right in. Let's really make, make manipulate it in. So we kind of create that curve that we want. I'd also say maybe it's still too thick at the top. So that's something we can do here. We can just adjust and maybe let's let's stop there and then we'll bring it in even further down the middle. I still feel like the middle is maybe a little bit more. So let's go to here and manipulate it more again. So we're just going to manipulate. You can see how that's now taking a shape um, that we're looking looking to get um, a bit more. There we go. Okay, so if we save this now we should have close to our main part of the shirt design. Um, that's something we can then look at a little bit more and see where we need to make changes. So that gives us a bit of an idea. Now you see it has like a black outline as well. So I'm gonna go back to here and then we're just gonna add in here a stroke. Now what this does is it puts a black outline outside of it. So I'd say that's fairly spot on. I'm just gonna increase it slightly. Okay. So we've got our shape of our shirt now. We've got our main design uh, of the shirt and we'll have a look now to see how the logos work with it and if the logos maybe need a tweak because they might clash with some of the colors behind it. We might need to put some features around it, but let's have a look at that in a second. So let's close this down and this down. So now we've got the kind of basic shirt. You can see the logo kind of gets lost, but we'll worry about that in a minute. So at the bottom of the shirt is just green, as you can see on the design. So it's just a green, green shirt at the bottom. And then we've got our sleeves to work on now. So let's go up to our sleeves and they're just plain and simply just green sleeves, okay? So the first one, let's do the left side. Uh, get rid of the grid, change this to green, and there you go. So save that and that's that one side done. Then on the other side, 
it obviously gets more complicated when you've got to line stuff up but that's where the grids come in handy and if you've got to do design on top of it but this is just a basic understanding how i'm kind of making them quickly and, sp and, and working fast with it so both the sleeves at the bottom are still green so let's just keep just going to change them to green and then they're also what one thing we do need to do is just make sure the stitching because there is stitching on here as well if i zoom in you can see it's white there so we just need to change the stitching color uh, we'll do that into green so it kind of merges and blends into the background okay so we're kind of getting there now with an element of the shirt i'd like say there's two elements still to work on the tool station logo needs to stand out more definitely but i also think the um there's like this black line coming over over the shoulders so we've got to work on that so let's get started first we'll do let's do the tool station logo first we'll go back to our emboss logo layer and let's go to the tool station logo now what i'm going to do for this is i think it might look quite good with a stroke over the top exactly like this so it's kind of got that gold background but it kind of should sit on the shirt better because it's kind of with the colors that are already there so let's have a look let's see what that looks like so you can see it stands out a lot more now it kind of breaks up the shirt a little bit but it kind of it it works a lot better i'm just going to increase the size of it slightly um just drag that across so it's in the middle so you can see with a pink line that pops up that just tells me it's in the middle also got our guidelines so i should that should kind of be where a sponsor's logo will be let's have a look at the logos and stuff the crest is maybe i could bring the crest across a bit a bit more actually i'm just going to increase its size as well so just 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 if this is a lot a lot of design stuff is i'm just finding just tweaking little things here left right and center just to make them a bit better so there we go that's pretty much there now apart from this black line on the shirt so what we need to do is go back to our design uh, main layer and we need to add that in now now it's not as straightforward as just putting a line there um on here because of the, sh the curve of the shirt so we need to go to our shirt base and in here we need to kind of manipulate a line so what i would probably do is start with a rectangle and just build a line into it with a square and then just kind of get a feel to what i need to do here because we know we're going to have to put a curve in some way because it's going to have to curve round but that's where we can warp it as such but i just want to see the thickness if we, we want to try and match the thickness up so it's not too bad it's probably a little bit thick at the top so we can maybe drag that across and then i'm going to try and bend this round a little bit now so let's bring this down and around i'm just going to we're trying to manipulate it now so that it kind of works with the way the sleeve's gone i'm just going to save that so let's have a look let's see what this looks like now in the actual design if that's kind of close uh, it might need to come out a little bit more but we can see so you can see it's a big project it's a big file um but that's near enough there i would still say we need to come out of the more at the bottom so let's bring that out even more um let's just bring that out more and more and more um and just There we go. So you're kind of getting a feel for what I'm trying to do here. What I'll, what I'll do is I'll, I'll copy this across to the other side and then we'll kind of like we'll have a look at how it looks all together. So um, I will just wait for this to save. I'm just going to drag this across, flip it horizontally, and then across to here. Let's try and line that up. Let's see what this looks like. If we save this now, this should give us both sides of the shirt. It might be a little bit big, but this is part of it now. It's just tweaking it and getting the final touches and stuff. So let's have a look. Just waiting for this to convert and save. So we've got a look there with the shirts, both sides. That looks pretty spot on as such now. So I'm fairly happy with that. It's a case of then saving it. So file export and then I export it as a JPEG. And off you go sort of thing. That gets put on, on YouTube. Oh, sorry, up on Instagram even. So I'm just going to come back to here now. So guys, thanks a lot for watching. Hope you enjoyed that. Um, if you did, just hit a like on this video and let me know what's, what's been your favourite shirt so far that I've done. Um, if you haven't seen them, go to our Instagram. And yeah, if there's any other videos you want me to show, if you want me to go into a bit more detail about it, let me know. This was just a basic overview on how to do things in Photoshop and stuff and how I've been doing the concepts. Um, and I hope you've been enjoying it. So if you want to donate, there is a donate button, but make sure you subscribe as well. That'd be really helpful. So thanks a lot for watching, guys, and uh, I will see you soon. So bye.
Bye.